afternoon, and thank you for joining me in another swashbuckling episode of Groovy Van Picker. Well, today's show, um, I actually stopped by Goodwill a couple of days ago, got a little bit of footage, but I didn't post it. And then today, I stopped by Goodwill and noticed at the, uh, The trough's door was open, so I stopped by to see what was going on because I kind of figured the troughs were not going to be opening anytime soon, I'm right. But I had a conversation with a really nice uh, lady over there who was uh, telling me that they're going to be utilizing that space for um, furniture and larger items, so... Now, when I took this video, you know, I trying to be nonchalant and not, you know, get any mug shots because I didn't want to get any mug shots. Um, but, uh, so you can see the camera kind of aimed down, but you're going to hear the conversation. And like I said, I just want to get a little bit of insight as to what's going on around here, you know. And uh, so, yeah, uh, we do have to still wear all our stagecoach robbing masks when we go in there which I also bring us to work too and there's a bunch of people around and also good for uh not to be people don't believe in the showers around here where I work at but another thing is to um I was over the Goodwill and they didn't dust anything off I think that's the real point behind these masks here. Because all the dust is going to kill you. Never mind the, 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 the Michelob virus or whatever it is. No, no, no. Dust, man. Wait, yeah, it's the same stuff they had. And they brought out a few things today, but it's few and far between. You know, I know they have the ability to bring more stuff out. And they should. Uh, you know, you want to turn and burn that stuff. You don't want to just sit on it forever. And so, basically, I took a look around on the way to work. Um, right now, I am still not really in the market for a whole lot of stuff. Um, you know, especially uh, swap meet table fillers, because I'm kind of in move out mode right now because uh, I am relocating my secret hideout. And I already have kind of a stored locker picked out and because uh, we're selling the property that my secret hideout now is on. So, um,. You know, however, I still like to look around because I might find something either I could use. Like those plastic bins that I always get. Yeah, those are always good. Or I might look out and find another Bell Magnum helmet that I can, that I can sell on eBay for $800. That'd be nice. Yes. But, you know, as far as, you know, tchotchkes and knickknacks, unless I find some gold or silver, I'm not really interested. Anyway, come join me. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what the little boutique has got. Yeah, well. Are you coming in? So we just want to make sure the customers keep their mouth on in the store. Just exercise, you know, distancing. And I've been social distancing before social distancing was cool. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Come few things out, finally. Hey, 
This is what we gotta put up with. Having carts in the middle of the aisle, they just don't wanna share their aisles with nobody. Another one. Another aisle hog. Valleys. Yeah, garbage. They didn't even dust this stuff off. It's the same stuff exactly they had two months ago. It was made for two months. And that dust. Look at that. Thick dust. Huh. That brand new for that. I kind of give up on this place. Excuse after excuse. So, do they plan on bringing, any, any more, bringing out any more stuff? Uh, I'm sorry? Do they plan on bringing out any more stuff? Um, I think we will be. But right now, we're just like playing with. Well, yeah, no, you got a whole bunch of stuff in the back. You got a whole bunch of stuff where the troughs were. Yeah. But you had the same exact stuff out here with the exact same dust on it. That was out here two months ago. Huh. I don't know anything about that. Yeah, it's it's, it's exact. I, I, I'm, I'm a regular. Uh-huh. And... I know that we're trying to do the best we can with what we got. Because we don't have very... Good night. Thank you. We don't have very many workers, really. I mean, we have some, but not not like we normally do. Yeah, okay. And we're, you know, we're just like... And I take it the uh, trials ain't going to be open for quite a while then. Um, I heard that some going to be opening pretty soon. Huh. I, I can find out. Now, that, that's kind of a funny thing. Like, how would you do social distancing in there? Because... I don't know. I would be very careful. This stuff is no joke. COVID-19 is no joke. I mean, because the uh, trough is, is, is like a, a mosh pit. Right. So I, I wouldn't go in there. Yeah, I would, but... Uh, how are you? Yeah. Good. Yeah, the troughs. That place is like a mosh pit. On normal really? days, but then again, a lot of people might be more hesitant to come by. That might be a plus. Yeah. Oh. But, the, but the trials where you got all the good stuff. Right. So. All right, don't have too much fun. I gotta go to work. What is happening over here at the Goodwill Troughs? I'm curious. Now the door's open. First time I've seen the shopping cart for the troughs in a long time. So it looks like they're getting ready to open it or they're just uh, putting the overflow in here. So yeah, this here is the Goodwill Bargain Bins, aka troughs. So what's happening here? Yeah, I understand because these things are like a mosh pit. Yeah. Social distancing ain't happening. Exactly. So what we're doing is we're temporarily changing it over to be a furniture. And uh, we're aiming for an open date, but we don't quite have one yet. So when do you plan to open the troughs back up, do you know? Um, so the store itself is back up? Yes, we got to wear these uh, snazzy little uh, yeah. robbing my stagecoach gear. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, hi. How you doing, dear? Good, how are you? So it's going to, I'm not sure exactly when this part is going to open up. We're still kind of playing around. And so the bargain bin probably ain't going to be open until this whole uh, thing is over right. with or at least have a good lid on it. Right, right. I think they're looking at some problem solving to figure out another way to potentially let people have access. Well, like I say, yeah, it's kind of hard to social distance in a mosh pit. You know how these things can get, I know. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 for sure. So for now, this is what we're doing. No set date to open, but we're working towards something hopefully. All right. Well, thank you much, ma'am. Yeah, you're welcome. Have a good day. Okay. Well, you're here for the uh, Reno, Nevada branch of the Goodwill Troughs. And here's the sign that they have. Wearing a face mask. <laughs> Can't see I'm smiling, but hee-hee. <laughs> okay, well... This is the uh, jewelry. Nothing here. Okay, well, not a lot here today. 
just start to bring more stuff out. Slow. Slow pickings. Okay, well, as you can see, um, I actually did um, two separate days of, uh, you know, in this uh, video here. So you're gonna see, that's why you saw two different clips. And um, basically, I'll just try and get a little bit of insight, and that's why I got the uh, conversations on, because... You know, I kind of want to share with everybody else, you know, what I'm finding out. Why do you see cars from time to time? And what I do, I'll share it with you. And so, um, you know, like I said, you know, I, I figured that the good old troughs, a.k.a. bargain bins, are not going to be opening up anytime soon as bargain bins. Okay. Um, you know, like I always say, you know, a place like a mosh pit and, and, and mosh pits and social distancing, they just don't quite go together. So, uh, you know, it's almost impossible. To stay six feet apart when the troughs are only about you know eight feet long and so you know I think it's a good idea that they do that anyway because they're paying rent on that space no matter what okay um, they're paying rent on you know a couple thousand more square feet so they may as well make their money on it. You know, like when I sell the swap meet, there's a reason I only sell small items, I don't sell furniture. Is you want to have a number of dollars per square foot. Okay. You have a big old couch that you might sell for ten dollars, twenty dollars. When you can smell you can sell small items like silver rings for twenty, thirty bucks. And you know, don't take up hardly no room at all. Even for my size 11 binky. And so, that's one of the things I always tell people at the swap meets. Is the larger your item, the more you have to charge. Because you want to have a certain amount. You want a certain amount of dollars per square foot. That is just basic economics 101. And especially at the amount of bread they're paying for the rent at the old Monkey Ward's uh, building on uh, Silverado. Was that Mervyn's? Uh, one of the other, I can't remember. <laughs> Years ago. Yeah, it was Ward's. Yeah, okay. It's been a while. And, uh... When I was 16, uh, my father bought me a a leather jacket from that place back when it was still Wards. Yeah, it was Wards because Mervyn's was, was over here. Yeah, okay. So anyway, so they still got to pay the rent in that place. You know, they still got to keep the lights on. They still got to have some guy, you know, hanging around making sure, you know, rousing the bums out and whatever donations that get uh, dropped off in the middle of the night, you got to come out there and drag them in and you know, throw them in the dumpster or whatnot, so they said you're still paying people for something. So, that's just uh, common sense. That's why I don't understand why Sabres hasn't even started to open yet, you know. Sabres is a lot bigger of a place, so social distancing is actually easier. So, I don't know why... They're dragging their feet, but they look like they're, you know, at least starting to clean up the place and get it ready to open. I hope. So anyway, that's about what I have for today. Nothing heavy. So if you don't like it, not a whole lot not to like. All right, late.